Okay, welcome. I had a 30-year-old female patient, a new patient today, who brought in her blood work. Her main complaint is fatigue. She also has irregular menstrual cycles and generally feels cold. Uh, fatigue is the main complaint. So her blood work here, I'm using this as a teaching point about thyroid testing and thyroid values and ranges. So if we look here, this was January of last year, 2017. They did a thyroid panel and it shows here her free T4 was 0.71, which was low. It's out of the range. It's out of range, so it's low. So her gynecologist tells her at that point, you may have a thyroid problem. But we'll want to check in a couple of months. And so in a couple of months, take a test again. Free T4 is at least in normal range. It's 0.82. Still at the low end, but in normal range. So she was told that her thyroid is okay. And, and they don't know what the problem is with fatigue. So I wanted to illustrate this on the graph thyroid hormones. So this is a general, this is the general lab range of thyroid hormones, free T4, inactive thyroid hormone. This lab ranges from 0.75 being at the low end. So anybody outside, outside of this range, lower than 0.75, technically has low thyroid hormone. Anybody above 1.54, any lab value above 1.54, as excess thyroid hormone. And the range in between here is considered, anywhere in here is considered normal. Except what we wanna look at in functional medicine is optimal values of hormones. And they generally lie kind of right in the middle of the range. Now our 30 year old female patient, her value in January of 2017 is 0.71 out of range. And then two months later in March, it's 0.82. It's in range. And by many doctors is considered normal. But if we use, we can see that she might be normal in range, but she is at the very low end, low hormone output. So it's no wonder why she has fatigue. This is one of the reasons. One of the reasons is low thyroid output. We want to going to help her get back as close as possible to optimal thyroid function optimal endocrine system function with female hormones included because of her irregular periods, possible adrenal involvement, and, and absolutely thyroid involvement as the blood work shows. This is such a common, common thing that happens. Somebody will go in with a main complaint of fatigue, have a thyroid panel run, be at the low end of thyroid hormones and be told that the thyroid is functioning normally. We don't, we don't want to be on the verge of disease or hypothyroid or low thyroid. We don't want to be here on the verge at any moment, any given day. Any given day, thyroid hormones change a little bit. So this, this 30 year old is jumping from low normal to out of range any given day. So it's no wonder she feels fatigued. It is such a common problem in many people to have an undiagnosed thyroid condition. So make sure that your blood work is looked over by somebody who can really scrutinize the lab values and really determine if you have a borderline uh, disease condition or a low thyroid. And